Hello everyone, Jeremy here with another one of Funko's pop vinyl figures from the Avengers Age of Ultron. And today, I've got Thor here with me. I managed to find Thor in the checkout aisle of Walmart. Surprisingly enough, I have not seen him anywhere else. And it looks like he is going to be pretty awesome. So I paid around $9 after tax to get Thor. And he is number 69 in this particular Age of Ultron series, along with Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk, uh, Hawkeye, Vision, Ultron, and the Hulkbuster. No Black Widow in this particular line, which is kind of weird. I mean, she is an Avenger after all, right? Anyway, Thor looks pretty cool on this box here. And I think that his actual vinyl figure is once again going to be nothing short of awesome. So. Let's open up this box and take a good look at him. Here's Thor looking as mighty as ever. Really nice detail on this figure. I love this costume. It's just amazing with those metal rivets down the left and the right and the great little sculpt right above his boot, right above the toe of his boot. So it really helps to drive home the armor that Hulk is wearing in the Age of Ultron. And he's got that awesome goatee going on there. That goatee, mustache, beard, sideburn combo, which is really good. And of course, you've got Molinier there. And, you know, it's a pretty cool scope for Thor's uh, awesome hammer. Uh, you know, it's got that, you know, metal rivet circle on it. But, you know, Molinier itself is, um, is not a very complex looking weapon. So it's not a whole lot they had to do to it and putting as far as putting markings and stuff. You know, but it's still very, it's very nice. You know exactly what it is. It does not look inaccurate at all. And then going to the hair scope. Hair scope is very important on Thor, especially the movie version in the Age of Ultron, because he really has to have that long blonde hair ponytail look going on. They really nailed that, especially the bands around the ponytail there. And the way that it's molded really makes it look like the hair is being cut right where that ponytail is going to begin so really nice molding on that and the little sort of uh, uh indentation right under this top layer of the hair down until we get to the middle and the bottom parts of the hair and it really makes it look like it's been pulled back to achieve that ponytail so i know i spent a lot of time talking about thor's hair but hey thor's hair is awesome it's one of the things that makes him so yeah great figure love the red the paint applications really came out very nice the little uh, indentations and rivets and lines in his uh, sort of his mesh armor, the mesh uh, that's sort of underneath this main part of the armor, like right where his arms are. You can see the various lines through there that came off really, really good. And of course, we have got to pay attention to his cape because Thor's cape is very, very important. And, you know, it's a pretty simple cape, just a simple red cape but it does have some detail in it, some nice shadowing effects, some nice molding effects to make it look kind of uh, wrinkled and has multiple layers to it and not just a flat flowing cape. So that's pretty cool. His cape is different than Vision's. Vision's cape looks a lot more, you know, straight and neat as if it's been ironed. But Thor's definitely looks like, you know, it has some, uh, it has some wear on it. So that is super awesome. Really good face sculpt on this guy as well. You know, I like that goatee. He really stands out from the rest of the figures. I think the flesh tones are pretty good, pretty accurate. His flesh tone is darker than that of, say, Hawkeye. Uh, it's more similar to Captain America, but it's really cool that, uh, that he is not as tanned as Hawkeye is because that would be accurate to how the characters look in the movie. So, dare I say, another great Funko Pop vinyl figure? Of course. And... There's going to be more reviews to come of the Funko Pop variety and other things as well. So this is Thor from the Avengers Age of Ultron. He is a bobblehead like all the other Marvel characters. It bobbles quite well. Bobbles seem to vary according to these Marvel figures. Some bobble good, some bobble bad, but hey, they all bobble. So thanks so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I'll talk to you later.